Did you know that you can make some interesting blends with the brush tool here in Illustrator? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is search for the image that I like. I'm going to create a new layer, which is going to be empty, and I'm going to select the circle ellipse marquee tool. And I'm going to go here, press and hold shift and just create a circle with the area that you like. And now the circle is on a new layer, as you can see. And this way you can move the circle around and position it wherever you like. So I'm going to go somewhere here and I'm going to select the background with the image, press Ctrl C and I'm going to press Ctrl N to create a new uh, new tab. And I'm going to go with this size, which I copied, click on create, press Ctrl V and I'm going to remove the background, click on delete and I'm going to scale this down a little bit more and make sure to save it as a PNG. And now let's go to Illustrator and I'm going to create a letter. So I'm going to go to the fill, click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke. So it's going to be on the top and I'm going to select the pencil and I'm going to draw a letter. Last time I went with the letter G, so I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to go with this and I'm going to drag and drop the image that I made a circle from. I'm going to scale it down and now let's go to the brushes, drag and drop this image into the brush select scatter brush, click OK. As you can see, it's not allowing it because the image is not embedded. So I'm going to go and click on the image and click on embed. And now you can drag and drop into the brush, scatter brush, click OK, and it works. I'm going to go and decrease the spacing, click OK. And I'm going to select the stroke letter and select the new brush that you created. And right now it looks something like this. Now in order to customize it, you can double click on this brush that we created. And here we got the options again. I'm going to decrease the spacing even more. Now we're on 10. You also can decrease it and smoothen it. That is going to smoothen out 100%, but the curvatures are kind of broken. So mainly this is the only disadvantage of this. But here we got the size and I'm going to increase like that. And you also got the rotate and search for the right colors in here. Click OK and click on apply to strokes. Now, as you can see, these curvatures got a little bit more smoother because we increased the size. So let's see what happens if I scale it up more and I go back to the brush, double click and scale it more. Wow, check this out. Now, this actually looks pretty impressive, but it won't necessarily fix those curvatures that much. But I think this is a new discovery at the end. So anyways, this is how I work with this uh, balland trick made with brushes here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.